Yes? Good? Great, hi. <gasps> it's me, Christian Hull. Um, if you don't know who I am, I guess paint colours on TikTok. That is the only skill that I have. I also have done some stand-up tours around Australia. Something about me that you may not know is I'm afraid of everything. Balloons, deep water, the sun, the outdoors, other people, heights, so many things, animals. God, the list goes on. And that's why I've created this series called The Discomfort Zone. I gave my team, Ben and Phoebe, the opportunity to put me in situations that I would absolutely not enjoy. And so let's welcome episode one, where hopefully it's a slow start and it's something easy. Yeah, what are we doing? Hi mum, it's me. How are you? You're good. Just quickly, I'm just about to film something, but I've just put you as next of kin. I'm getting on a plane that does spins and shit, so um, just a heads up. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, yep. No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. Love you. Love you. You've been a really great mum. Love you. Say bye to dad. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. Yay! Oh, this will be great. I've now just got to wait for Steve, the driver, pilot. In fact, hopefully a pilot. That would be beneficial. It's a bit tight, though that's my only... No disrespect, Christian, but you can let the belt go sides out. These? Yeah. Oh, much better. <laughs> they were already let out. Dun, 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 highway to the danger zone. I feel really cool in this. Do I look cool? Whilst I was putting on my G-suit, that's fancy pilot speak for costume, I was instructed about the most important thing on this trip, which will be a pig bag. So, um, just been handed a vomit bag because I've been told, not that I might vomit, that I will vomit. So, yay! When it comes to fighter piloting, there's only one man to call. And it's hopefully Steve, who will be good. And good, good, here he is. Right, yeah. You look like you're ready. I'm ready. Ready to die. Have you done any aerobatics and aeroplanes before? No, so I struggle to get on a commercial airliner. Excellent. So I'm watching Steve show all the maneuvers and in my head, I just go into panic mode and suddenly all I can hear is I'm not taking any of that information in. Then I hear key words like womp, 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 emergency, womp, 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 parachute, womp, 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 jump out of the plane, womp, 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 death. What am I doing? Honestly, why am I here? There is no plan D, Christian. That is it. Oh, out. we all know what plan D is. How does that sound? Landing safely, yeah. Um, I liked plan A the so most. So did I. So if we could do plan A, Steve, that would be fantastic. Can do. Whenever you're ready, we'll head outside and go and get an airplane. Look, you can see all of Brisbane and a huge fighter jet. And we're going to be <laughs> up there. What about other planes in the sky? What about other planes? Will they know? Does that appear on radar? <laughs> so many questions. Just don't ask questions. Just get in, just do it. You'll be fine. Oh, firstly, how am I going to get up that ladder and into that? It's going to be like watching a seal try and get up. <laughs> There's a joystick, okay? And then just in. Yes, yeah, stand on the seat. No, stand on the blue seat. On this blue seat, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm Brody, doing great. You were all strapped in. Great. Okay. How are you feeling? Back really there? good. I'm feeling so pumped for going upside down. Excellent. Okay. How are you feeling back there, mate? Yeah, good. I'm feeling great. Excellent. Ben, 
you're fired. You're fired. Christian, can, can yes, you hear me back Yes, there? confirm manatee Excellent. can hear you. Very good. So by now you've gathered that I have a big fear of flying. I do not like flying uh, jumbo jets, uh, passenger jets. I, I, honestly, how does a tin can stay in the air? This was a whole different experience. As you're taxiing down the runway, you can hear like, Roger, five or nine or clear to go, which is terrifying. You're from Kilo Romeo, line up runway to eight left. Line up to eight left, uniform, Kilo Romeo. And you can hear all the things that they're saying, and then suddenly you're clear for takeoff, and you're like, oh my god. Uniform, Kilo Romeo, runway two eight left, clear for takeoff, make a left turn, climb 1500. Okay, Christian, we, we are all set to go here, mate. So what we do is we hold the brakes on. I'll talk you through our takeoff so you know what I'm looking at. Push the power up. Once we get the engine RPM to 90%, we release the brake. Okay, yep. And we start our takeoff roll. So we are all good to go. There's 185 kilometres an hour. We raise the nose and we are airborne. Oh, wow. The wheel's coming up. Oh, my God. That's the flaps coming up. Wow. <laughs> and away we go. And suddenly, we're in the air. And I was like, what? You're looking down and you just see the gorgeous Brisbane. If you look out to the left, you see our shadow on the ground there. Oh. Gives you an idea of our ground speed. Wow. Holy shit. Look at the view. This isn't that bad. I was feeling calm. My heart rate was low. I was breathing properly. And then I heard a Steve announce in the headphones that we were going to perform our first manoeuvre. <laughs> oh, shit was about to get real. Excellent, we're going to do this G warm-up. Oh Two and a half G to the left and three and a half G to the right. Okay. Cool, okay, here we go. So bring your aeroplane round to the left. <laughs> and oh, oh my God. Comes two oh. and a half G just there. And this one is going to be a demo of three and a half G. This will feel a fair bit heavier. Okay. Here it comes now. Oh my god! <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh yeah, I can feel that. How did that feel? Oh, that feels awesome. Excellent. Okay, that wasn't bad. That was actually not too bad. I can't believe I did that. And now we head back and we land and everything's... Oh no, what's that, Steve? We have another manoeuvre. Oh, fantastic. So we're just going to do this barrel roll to the left. Okay. Barrel roll to the left. Up we come. It'll okay. be nice and easy. You'll really enjoy all of these. Okay. Up we go. Nice and easy on the pull. Yep. Get the nose up nice and high. And we just start this roll to the left. Oh my god. Oh, we're upside down. Oh, we oh, certainly oh, are. Oh. How's that for a view? Wow. This is... Oh my god, we're heading straight to the ground. Up we go. Oh. It's going oh to be three and a half G. Oh, That's I can all feel it. Just there. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> if you look out to the left, oh, we're oh, vertical. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Bring yeah, your yeah. head back. Nice smile for the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh there's the sun. Oh, God. Oh, there's the ground. Oh, my God. We're upside down. Oh, 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 yeah, oh my God. Here comes the G. Oh, wow. Okay, now we're going to set up for this Cuban 8. Up we go. Okay, oh my god. 4G for you. Okay. Everything's good. Excellent. Great. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh wow, it's so good. Get ready for the push, the hold and the roll. Here it comes. Hold and roll. Push. Oh my god. It was at this point I was wondering how Phoebe was going back on the ground. <laughs> she didn't realise at the time, but I was firing her in my head at that very moment. Look, I actually think he's going to enjoy it. Pumped. He's like, pumped, enjoying it. Adrenaline, adrenaline, and like, excitement, and I actually think he's going to be stunning up there. Oh! Set up for this vertical roll now, so have a 
a break for a second. You're doing a good job. He did everything. Plus 4.2 G minus one. So he did well. So what did you think? Mm. Yep. Just need to recover for a little bit. Yeah, sure. How impressive was that? I pulled so many Gs, we did tricks, we did maneuvers. That was amazing. I may not look that great, but I didn't vomit at all. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, let me clarify, I didn't vomit at all on the ground. There was a lot of vomiting and I was sick for 24 hours after. It's quite an intense 10 yeah. minutes, isn't it? Yes, it's really full on. Yeah. Like, there's m you give me time to breathe Yeah. and it's like straight into the next one and then vomit, 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 and then breathe, and then straight into the next one, and then vomit, 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 and then straight into the next one and vomit, and then land. That's it. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> I mean, words that come to mind are hero. I can pretty much do anything now. Throw whatever you want at me, and I will do it. Except for, there are rules, uh, no skydiving, no bungee jumping. All right, so episode two. What am I doing? I just really want to say how pissed off I am already, and I'm comfortable. Look at that. This is so painful. I don't even know what we're doing. And I'm already pissed. I'm assuming it's that. Oh wow, this is happening. Have you ever been told you look a lot like Ned Flanders? Ned Flanders. You know when he's in the ski suit? Do you know the Ned Flanders ski suit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look exactly like Ned Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a tornado. They told me to keep moving, but I just want to lie down. Highway to the danger zone. I think I'm going to throw up. All goes to me. You can stop being like acting now. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'll stop acting. Obviously, this isn't normal. <laughs> <laughs>